हे माई नेम इज हैप्पी आई हेल्प कैंडिडेट्स इन डॉट नेट इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इन एनी इंटरव्यू इफ यू हैव एनी कन्फ्यूजन इन एनी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन देन पोस्ट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड आई विल मेक एन वीडियो ऑन इट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस क्वेश्चन आई ट्राई टू मेक इट एज सिंपल एज पॉसिबल सो कैन यू सो डैट यू कैन स्पीक कॉन्फिडेंटली इन द फ्रंट ऑफ द इंटरव्यूअर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द डेफिनेशन constructor is a special method of the class that is automatically invoked when an instance of the class is created so whenever you will create a class and then you will create the object of that class then this constructor method will be automatically called you need not to call it explicitly the name of the constructor must be same as of the class name so that is one thing and the interesting thing about it is if the name will not be the same then it is hard to identify it from the other methods so the name is same why because there is a reason if you will put a new name for the constructor then it will be like the uh, other methods only that's why c sharp has mandate it that the constructor name will be same as that of the class now the next part is what are its types so we have these types of constructors in c sharp default constructor parameterized constructor copy constructor static constructor and private constructor so we will discuss them one by one and in detail let's start with the first type of constructor which is default constructor a default constructor without any parameter is a default sorry a constructor without any parameters is a default constructor so this is the simplest one there is no parameter in the constructor then it's the default one let me show you the code so see here we have a class default constructor and inside this default constructor class we have this constructor uh, which don't have any parameters and the name is also same as of the class name and now inside the main method when we will create the object of this class so this will automatically call this default constructor and if you will see the output then you will see the output as default constructor invoked let me show you in the code also so this is the same code which have this default constructor class and this default constructor inside it so now i will run it and see just by creating the object of this class this constructor is invoked let me show you here is the output default constructor invoked so this is the first and the simplest type of constructor so now let's move to the next type of constructor which is parameterized constructor so let's see what is the definition parameterized constructor a constructor with at least one parameter is a parameterized constructor so let me show you the code see here in the constructor we have this class para constructor and inside the constructor we have this one x variable which is of type integer so whenever you will create the object of this para constructor class then you must have to pass a variable of type integer so that is the parameterized constructor now what will be the output of this program this will be the output of this program parameter A para constructor numbers and the uh, variable which is passed is hundred. Let me show you the code also. See this console application have this main method and this para constructor, and we have passed this and this hundred. If you will not pass this variable, then it will not accept this and it will show an error that there is no argument given that the corresponds required a. a parameter x blah 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 so basically if the constructor have this parameter then you must have to pass the parameters here also and let me run this to show you the output see as i said this is the output and i hope now you are clear about the parameterized constructor also now let's move to the next type of constructor which is static constructor we will discuss copy constructor at the end 
because it is quite complex as comparison to other constructors. So, what is the static constructor? Let's see the definition first. A static constructor is used to be called before any static member of a class is called. So, what is this? Let me show you the code first. So, if you can see, here we have this class static constructor. Now, inside this class, we have this print method, which is a static method, right? Now, in the main method, we will call this static uh, print method like this because object creation uh, is not required when a method is static so we will directly call this method like this now whenever you will call any static method then before running the statement inside the static method the static constructor will execute so you have not called any static constructor from here but it will automatically execute and this will be the output see static constructor invoked and then static print method called so first this will be executed and then this will be executed so that is the static constructor it will be executed before any static member of the call class will be called so this is the static constructor let me show you the same thing in the code also in the visual studio i mean see here is the uh, code where we have main method and the static constructor class. Now I just call this print method directly without creating the object because it is the static method. Now when I will run it, it will first execute the static constructor and then only it will execute the static method. See, here is the output. First the code inside the static constructor and then the statement inside the static method is called so i hope this static constructor is clear to you now now next type of constructor is private constructor what is private constructor when a constructor is created with a private specifier it is not possible for the other classes to derive from this class neither is it is possible to create an instance of this class so when you will create a constructor private constructor with a private specifier then the object creation of this private constructor class is not possible and even it cannot be inherited in any derived class so if you will try to create the object like this then it will show and compile time error that it is not possible and if you will try to inherit from it then it will show an error compile time error that this is also not possible so this is the private constructor but then if it is not creating the object and even not letting the class to be inherited then what is the purpose of this private constructor so the purpose of this private constructor is basically to uh, in the if you have heard about the singleton design pattern so that is the purpose in the design questions in the i will go in detail how this private constructor is useful in the singleton design pattern but for not uh, now uh, we can just understand that this is the private constructor which object is not created neither it can be inherited at the end we will discuss this copy constructor uh, i rarely rarely used this constructor and i never asked any inter uh, any in any interviews about this constructor but uh, let's see how it is the constructor let's see the definition first the constructor which creates an object by copying variables from another object is called a copy constructor so let me show you the code also see i think it's a big code so let's break it up and try to understand this see here we have a class copy constructor right now inside this we have two constructors one is parameterized constructor because it have a parameter inside it this string name and the another one is the copy constructor now what is this copy constructor this copy constructor is basically this one also only so let me show you how it will work so when we will create the object of this copy constructor class and we will pass the parameter inside it then the first constructor will be invoked and 
the things you will get in this copy constructor now we will call again create the instance which will be a difference instance and here we will pass this copy constructor as a parameter which is basically copied from the first instance now in this side this we will assign the value and the output will be like this output name happy uh, it is bit difficult to slightly difficult to understand but i will try to explain it in detail separately but yeah it is rarely used but the concept is that it will copy the details of the one constructor and use it in the other constructor for doing some operations so here we will finish about all the constructors and if you have any questions about this question then please let me know in the comment section and i will be happy to answer those questions <music>